Okay, so um, this is the setup that um, I'm using currently. Um, I'll show you some more in just a minute, but first let me show you the software I'm using and um, how I got all this stuff uh, rigged up. So the first thing I want to look at is uh, let's see, in my downloads, what do I have here? Um, yay, 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 yay. Well, the only thing I've got in here is the NDI uh, 4 tools. So that was the NDI tools that allow you to... Um, do come out of a different laptop and use it as a source um, to the OBS Studio software. So here are the NDI things that you get. Uh, the two most important ones are the virtual input down here and the scan converter. And so if you're going to use a uh, another computer and you want to capture the screen on that other computer as an input to OBS you run you install scan converter on the other computer and you run it and then what happens is that other computers um, monitor becomes an input to OBS. Um, so they also have a thing called Studio Monitor. If you go run Studio Monitor, what it does is it allows you to, let me pull one over here like so, um, that is the desktop of that computer right there. That's a computer that's sitting over on the table behind um, that's running the PowerPoint that I'm using in my class. Um, the desktop that um, I have behind me here that I'm running the um, Trex remote viewer on is this one and so that's what its desktop looks like currently now if I go over here to this computer and I uh, say done on that screen you see it responds so that is treated as an NDI input All right. Um, on the iPhone that I have connected right here right now, as well as that iPhone, I have the NDI HX uh, application installed on, and. I can use that uh, NDIHX application um, to make that iPhone also um, a so there's my computer behind me, the laptop behind me, but I also have, and I just called it my cracked iPhone, and you can see there it says iPhone cracked, NDIHX camera, and if I click on that guy, that's what that camera sees. That's what's coming from the iPhone right here. And that's pretty good resolution, actually. That's why I like to use them. 
Okay. So let's go start up OBS Studio. So if I start up OBS Studio, you see I have created over here several scenes. And the way OBS works is you create a scene and each scene would be like um, oh, a blank page. And then you fill that page with sources. So uh, let's pick an easy one. Here's a, a page called PowerPoint. And this page called PowerPoint only has two sources in it. One source is that PowerPoint computer. And if I double click on this, it takes me to the properties. And you see that the source name is that computer's name and which monitor it is. So that's an NDI source. And I say, okay. And the other thing that I have on this um, scene is this, a template that says virtual classroom up here and I set authorized provider over here. So, if when that goes out, it goes, it looks just like that. Um, I also have a webcam set up looking at a blue screen and if you look over here, it's got the template and a Logitech webcam and I also have a background image that right now I've got it turned off because I didn't I didn't want to mess around with doing all the blue screen stuff so again I've got a blue screen cam I got a camera looking at a blue screen I've got a scene here that's a PowerPoint and then I built another scene that is my PowerPoint and my camera with that class template. And I got all three of them here together. And I can reach in here and I can get a hold of my um, blue screen camera and I can move it around. I can resize it. Or I could just choose PowerPoint only and the blue screen camera goes away. I can also um, select videos. So let's say this guy right here. Here's a video and it's the bench set video and along with the class template. So, there's the template, there's the video. Um, this is my class template. I have a scene set up called class template. And all I have to do is add that scene to any other scene. And then we can see these things. And by the way, I've got the Emerson logo turned off because when I'm doing a PowerPoint, the PowerPoints all have an Emerson logo right in that same spot. And, it, and sometimes it looks kind of funny. So I turn it off. You can turn it off just by clicking on that eyeball right there. Um, so I showed you... this guy a while ago and for some reason he has 
decided to stop operating. There he is. So I've got again layers and my layers are um, I've got the valve link iPhone and the class template and the valve link computer all layered onto a scene called valve link mobile cam valve link mobile plus cam So, how do I get that out to my students? Well, I go over here, and let me move my stuff around a little bit. So, I've got um, WebEx. So, I say start a new meeting, and... It starts a new meeting and so I can go here and say hmm where is my video coming from well my video is coming from the new tech NDI video that's one of the things you have to install it's a plug-in to OBS where is my audio coming from? Well, my audio is coming from the New Tech NDI Audio, which that plug-in takes care of. And my speaker output goes to my USB plug-and-play sound device. That guy right there. So when the students make comments, I can hear them over that speaker. Okay. So if I say start meeting, that's what's going out to my students. Now, it looks like it's, well, it is reversed here, but it's not reversed for my students. I don't exactly understand all I know about that. Um, but yeah, if I change, um, there's my blue screen camera, there's my PowerPoint, there's my PowerPoint plus my blue screen, uh, there's a video. And when I send a video, they hear the um the audio and they see the video and it appears to be going going out pretty good um, so let's see what else when you install that plug in to OBS one of the things that you do is you go right up here to tools and you'll notice after you install it now you have something called NDI output settings and NDI output settings um, it says main output well what's your main output going to be it's going to be I'm outputting OBS so that when I go over to my to my WebEx screen and I look at my video there's my new tech NDI video and if I look at my audio there's my new tech NDI audio and that comes from this NDI output settings. Um, I have done some 
interesting stuff like this guy here. So when you, um, it's called, I have a, a scene called pre-show. So we were doing a, a class for a company called Vilter. I went out on the internet and I found some images having to do with Vilter and I built a, you see some of these sources here, I built a slideshow, a Vilter image slideshow that I included in this scene. I have text over here, the Vilter class text. I have um, countdown timer text. I have the class template and I have some music. So I went out and found some, some um, royalty-free music and I included it in this scene and you can see and you can actually, it's going out on the stream, um, but it, it doesn't come out of these speakers, it comes out to my headphones. And so, you can hear what's coming out of my headphones there. Um, and that was, it was a pretty interesting thing to build a um, countdown timer. Uh, it has to do with, you have to go up here to tools and go to scripts and open up a script called the countdown timer and I've got one called countdown for pre-show um, that, that does the timer thing. I also have one built for break time and I have different music selected. I have different music selected for the break time and a different timer built. And what I did here is I just built a slideshow of pictures that I took around here. Now, I'm going to stop this recording and I'm going to upload this to YouTube and I'm going to include a link to this video and it will be um, um, unregistered. It won't be public so the only people that can find the video are people who have the link so I'll send you the link and also I will send you uh, an email with all the links to all the software and links to all the YouTube videos that I watched to help me get to this point um, all right, so enjoy this. It's, it's actually kind of fun to figure out how all this works.